cataractcoach.com, the Alcon Panoptics IOL. How does this trifocal lens design perform? So this lens was just FDA approved in the US in September of 2019. There's a picture of it coming in its container. It's a trifocal lens with two ads, 2.2 diopters and 3.2 diopters. Both of those are at the IOL plane. At the spectacle plane, they're significantly less, about 1.6 and 2.4 respectively. So here's the IOL, it's a single piece hydrophobic acrylic, six millimeter optic. And you can see the rings here extend out about four and a half millimeters in diameter. There are the rings. Now the design of this lens is a special type of design because of the way it splits the light. In a traditional trifocal lens, you have two step heights and there are two add powers or focal points in addition to the distance. But just due to the nature of the way diffractive orders work, if you have three focal distances, then the intermediate focal point is twice the near. So traditional dry focal, it'll be 40 centimeter, 80 centimeter, and then distance. But there's a hole at that 60 centimeter part. So what Alcon does basically is make a quadrifocal IOL design. That's right, the panoptics is actually a quadrifocal design, but it's manipulated optically so that the extended intermediate focal point 120 centimeters is kind of pushed out or redistributed to the distance focal point and that gives better performance this gives you two step heights or two add powers in addition to the distance so light still split three ways distance now even better and then intermediate at 60 and near at 40 centimeters and because of this it ends up being effectively a trifocal design so there it is being implanted inside the eye into a nice empty capsule bag, and it unfolds appropriately like any of these other uh, single piece acrylic lenses designs do. Very important that we line up the lens appropriately in the patient's visual axis. A helpful guide can be those Purkinje images, which we see there. And at the very end of the case, the final position of the IOL should have it lined up. Let's look now at the Restore 2.5 bifocal lens, or the predecessor to this lens. Both are still available in the US market. And let me show you how they're different. Now this is the Restore 2.5. Again, that's a 2.5 ad at the IOL plane, which is more like a two ad at the spectacle plane. And so we zoom in and look at the rings here. There are fewer rings, and it's only the central, about three and a half millimeters of the optic. You can see those rings there. The very center one is all distance, so it helps to emphasize that. This lens, the one I'm showing you here, is also toric, and the panoptics is also available in toric powers. Again, the loading of the lens is very traditional, and here the surgeon, that's me, I'm loading the lens myself, just to ensure it's done appropriately. And we can deliver this lens, and then similarly, this is a toric multifocal, so we have to line up the center of the lens with the visual axis, and also have the appropriate rotation of the optic so that the torque power is lined up with the pre-existing corneal astigmatism to neutralize it. And so the lens is going to be delivered here, very nicely in the caps or bag, and the rest of the case proceeds normally. And again, careful, in both of the des these designs, remove all the viscoelastic from behind the IOL optic, and that allow the IOL to seat a little bit better and stick in place. This material is slightly tacky, so it will stick and stay exactly where you place it against the posterior capsule. And then there's the lens. We'll just dial in the appropriate uh, amount of rotation. So again, what's the final comparison? Here's an easy way that I put it. The green line at the top is the ideal vision. That's the vision of a 25-year-old healthy human with a human crystalline lens. And you can see from one foot to far distance away, and it's near perfect vision. That's the best. But you know, youth is wasted on young people, and none of us are gonna be young again. The yellow line there next, that's the distance vision lens implant. That's a monofocal lens, we're aiming it for distance vision or plano, and you can see it gives a very wide range from about four feet away to very far away, very clear without glasses. And then glasses are needed for anything basically within arm's reach, three feet or closer. Both this monofocal lens and the healthy 25-year-old human lens give excellent night vision. No glared halos. Now the two other lines there, the orange line 
is the bifocal lens implant, the Restore 2.5. It will have pretty good clear vision from far away all the way up to about two feet away from you. About 50 centimeters, maybe as close as 18 or 20 inches away. And then it'll drop off relatively quickly and require reading glasses for anything closer. The blue line there is this new Panoptics trifocal lens design. And it should give very clear vision across the board from far away to about 16 inches away from the face, which would be great reading a, a range. Now, it's not quite as perfect as being a young 25-year-old human and not quite as good distance vision and night vision compared to a monofocal lens, but overall, it's a pretty reasonable compromise. So the options are presented here, and it's up to you as a surgeon to decide with the patient which would be most likely to suit their needs. Thank you for watching.